10, 20, 30. Oh, oh my goodness. Hello. I'm Y'all catch me every time doing some crazy stuff. I'm going to have to tell Mr. Mario he needs to be telling me when my friends have come and joined me. Did y'all see what I was doing? I was trying to get my workout in while I was getting my math in. Did you know that you can do that? Yeah, you sure can. I was going 10, 20, 30. What am I doing? 40. That's right. I'm counting by tens. And we're going to do that today. But just in case you and I have not met yet, my name is Miss Jeff Coat. And I am a second grade teacher at Lexington Elementary. So if any of you are my little tigers, I'm saying, hello, little tigers. But if some of you go to schools all over our city, I'm saying hi to you too. And I'm so glad that we're friends now. So right now, I want you to tell me your name, okay? My name is Miss Jeffcoat. And now everybody tell me their name. Say it out loud. There you go. Wherever you are, I'm saying hello. All right? And we're going to have a lot of fun doing math today, okay? So let's take a deep breath in. Oh my goodness, Miss Jeffcoat, that was like double workout for her today. Got a little out of breath. But what we always do in Miss Jeffcoat's class when we are getting ready to be math geniuses, because nobody comes to my class unless they're a math genius, because and I know all of you are math geniuses. We take a deep breath in and let it out. And no matter where you are, whether you're in your living room, watching me on your TV, or you're watching me um, in your bedroom, on your tablet, okay? Let's just plant ourselves, and let's be ready to grow in math today, all right? So, today we are going to practice making the next 10 and adding to multiples of 10. Ooh, we're big-time math geniuses today, all right? But what do you see? What family in the math family are we working with? It's my favorite family. So if you've seen me before and we've hung out and done math together before, then you're going to know that my favorite family is the what family? That's right, the 10 family. Because I'm telling you, that 10 family, if you can do, if you can work that 10 family, then you can do all sorts of math and be a math genius, okay? So we're going to spend some more time today in the 10 family. But we're also going to spend some time with some one, okay? So let's go see what we're going to do, all right? All right. Now, look on this board right here, okay? Let's see. I wanted to remind everybody, okay? This little line right here looks like somebody just took their pen and went, Zoop. what is that? Does anybody remember? That's right, it's what we call a quick 10, okay? So these are 10s. That little line is going to represent 10. So if I see one little line, how many do I have? Very good, I have 10, one 10, okay? Now, what are these little dots right here? Uh-oh, got too close. What are those little dots right there? Yes, those represent my ones, okay? So quick 10s and ones. We're going to work with those for a little bit today, okay? So, what I want you to do is I want you to tell me the total value of my tens and my ones when I give the signal. And Miss Jeffcoat's favorite signal give is the double snap, okay? So, let's practice using what you see here. Remember, these are tens and these are ones. So, when I'm talking about the total value, that means when I add together these tens with these ones, what do I have total, all right, my total value? So I have 1171. So my total value here is what? That's right, 17. Let's make an addition sentence. Very good. 10 plus 7 equals 17. All right, let's try another one. All right, ooh, we switched it up a little bit here, okay? Remember what my tens look like. Remember what my ones look like. When you hear the snap, I want you to tell you, me the total value of what you see up here on Miss Jeff Coates' screen. You ready? And very good, 22, okay? So let me ask you this. 
how would I say this the say ten way? Okay, let's be let's remind ourselves about the say ten way. Okay, how many tens do I have? That's right, two. Okay, and then how many ones do I have? Very good, two. So the say ten way would be two tens two, which is what? 22. Very, very good. Okay, let's try another one. Ooh, okay. What did I add here? Just think in your head. What did I add here? Did I add any more tens? I sure didn't. I added more on what? One. So everybody look. Count how many one. And tell me the value and snap. Very good, 29. Now, I also want you to tell me how I would say this the say 10 way. Here we go. Two tens, nine. Awesome sauce, all right? Let's keep going, okay? Here we go. I want you to tell me the value when you get the signal. Here we go, and very good, 32. The say 10 way. Very good. Three tens, two. Wonderful. Let's try again. Okay. I'm going to get one. i move up a little bit. Ooh. Oh, where you at, Math Geniuses? Okay. Take a good look. I'm going to give you just a minute to count those tens. Remember, these are quick tens and our ones. This just cut needs to count. Hold on. Okay, ready? Tell me what we have as the total value, and that's right, 61. And now the say 10 way, here we go. Six tens, one. Wonderful. All right. Now. Let's do one more. Oh, what? We're getting up in some big numbers now, okay? I'm going to give you just a minute to count. I'm going to, how about we do this together, all right? I'll kind of point to the quick tens and you say them out loud to me, okay? Because I don't know if you remember. But remember the magic of math and the way that I'm coming to you today? I know you can't believe it, but Miss Jeffcoat can hear you because I'm a magic math teacher. So I want you to, let's count by tens with our quick tens and then count our ones, all right? Here we go. One. 20, 50, 80, 90. How many tens is that if I have 90? Wonderful, nine tens, okay? And then let's count our ones. Oh, but wait, I was at 90. So if I'm going to be counting my ones, I need to not say... Use one, two, three. Remember, I have nine tens, so I need to start with what? Very good. Ninety one, ninety. Ninety five. Ninety nine. Very good. All right. How would I say this number the say ten way? Who knows? Okay, I'm going to give you the signal. Here we go. Very good. Nine tens, nine. All right. Wonderful. Goodness gracious, so many math geniuses today. Okay. All right. Now, let's keep kind of doing what we're doing, okay, with one of my favorite things to work with, okay. They call these the high zero cards. They're like magic cards. Math is magic. We're going to be doing a lot of math magic today, okay? So, for instance, okay, watch this, okay? You see what number do I have here? Very good. I have 11. But how would I say this the say 10 way? 10 1. Very good. 10 1 or what? 11. Isn't that magic? Okay, let's try another one. Okay. Ooh, 15. How would I say 15 the say 10 way? 
Here we go. <gasps> Very good. Ten to five. What would my addition sentence be? Ten plus five gives me what? Everybody look. Fifteen. Wonderful. Okay, let's try a few more. Here we go. What do you see? Yes, we see the number 19. Awesome. Okay, let's say this the say 10 way. 10, 9. Very good. Okay. 1, 10, 9. Very good. Okay. Let's go. 12. The say 10 way. 10, 2. Very good. Okay. Let me go. All right. Now, what number do you see here? They call it the regular way. Y'all want to call it the regular way? Okay, we'll call it the regular way until Miss we might can all come up with a fun or a, a more fun way to say that. So the regular way would be what? Thirteen. Wonderful. And the say ten way. Uh oh. Would be what? Uh oh. Well, so sorry would be 10-3. That is awesome, okay? All right, here we go. Okay. All right, one more little thing that we're gonna do today, and we're gonna bring in, oh, remember, my lovely friend, the Wreck and Rack, Hold on, a little prop difficulty here. Is it in there? Mr. Mario is my wonderful cameraman. Everybody say hi, Mr. Mario. He's putting up with me while I do this. Okay, we're going to keep counting the say 10 way, but I just have a feeling I have so many math geniuses out here. We're going to get into some bigger numbers. Are y'all ready? I think we're ready. I totally think we're ready, okay? All right, here we go, all right? Here's my friend, the Reckon Rack. She does like this trusty little book, so I'm going to leave it by me, but I'm going to move some of this other stuff. These are called my props, my math props. Okay, here's my friend, the Reckon Rack. Okay, now, let's remember, just a quick reminder, okay? On the wreck and wreck, okay? How many are in each row? Very good, 10. So let's just count by 10s, okay? Let's see how many I have total on my wreck and wreck. Here we go. And 10, 20, 50, 100. That's right, okay? I have 100 beads on my wreck and wreck, okay? So, Let's say if I did this, put all these over, but I'm going to bring how many over? That's right. Okay. I have 10 and then how many? 20. Okay. So I have two tens here if we were saying it the same 10 way. Now, if I have two tens, I want to do this. I'm going to count by ones. So now you tell me when you hear the snap, the say 10 way, how many you see on the wreck and wreck. And snap. Very good. Two tens five. Which, what would that number be the regular way? Wonderful. 25. Okay. Let's do another one together. Ooh, okay. What do I have here? All right. Remember? Okay. So I have. How many? Very good. 50. Now I'm going to add these. Count them. Okay. How would I say this? The say 10 way, what we just did. And that's right. 5, 10, 9. And what would that number be the regular way? Very, very good. 59. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Let's try another one. I'll go back some. Okay. 
have three rows of 10, so you know how many that is. And then let's count how many I'm going to pull over. One. Okay, how would I say this to say 10 ways? Very good. Three tens, six. Or the regular way, 36. Well, wonderful. Let's do two more. Here we go. Okay, let's look at this wreck and wreck, okay? How many do I have? Let's think about it. Okay, you know how many tens you have, okay? Now let's pull over some one. Okay, how would I say this to say ten way? Very good. Eight, ten, six. And then the regular way? 86. Wonderful. Okay. Now, the last little thing we're going to do today. Okay. And this is some real math genius work. Okay. So. We're going to do something. Okay. And this is just to show your math genius brain. Let's spend a few minutes on making the next 10. Okay. I want you to remember today we've been counting by 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Actually, I started that wrong. Back up, reverse. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay? All right? 10 10s makes 100. Now, if we're trying to make the next 10, so remember on our wreck and wreck, we were doing things like we had 10. And then we added six, okay, I mean, excuse me, eight, okay? So what's 10, eight? Very good, 18. If I wanted to get to the next 10, think about if you're counting by 10 and you're at 18, what would your next 10 be? That's right, 20. So how many more do you need to add to 18 to get to 20? Right, just two, okay? All right? So I want to just do a quick little practice on this and then um, just to wrap up our Math Genius Day, okay? So we're going to start easy first, okay? I'm going to say a number. I'm going to give you the snap, and you're going to tell me what it needs to make the next 10, all right? So look here. We have 8. What does 8 need to make the next 10? That's right, 2, okay? Wonderful. So think about that. Think about what we just did. Take a minute, okay? I know that eight needed two more to make 10, okay? So let's look at the number 28. First, I want you to think, what is your next 10, okay? Think when you're counting by 10s, 10, 20, what would come? That's right, 30 is your next 10. So how many more does 28 need to get to 30? Think about our had zero cards, okay? How many more? Very good, two. Y'all got this, okay? Same thing. Ooh, we're at 58. It's just like when we were trying to get to the next 10 from eight, we needed how many? Two. When we were trying to get to the next 10 from 28, we needed how many? Two. So if I want to get to the next 10 from 58, first let's think what our next 10 is. Think I have five 10s. What's going to be my next 10? Uh-oh. Okay. Very good. 60. So how many more does 58 need to get to 60? Just two. Okay, I think y'all are getting the hang of it, math geniuses, all right? So, we're not going to, we're going to wrap up today and just be remembering about how to make a 10. Remember, Miss Jeffcoat's favorite math family is the 10 family, okay? And if you can learn that 10 family, let me tell you, sharp students, you are going to be winning in math, all right? So, um, 
let's we're going to keep working on that 10 family as we move on and i just want you to remember how we always say see you later today okay see you later every time that we get to spend time together okay we don't say goodbye we say see you later because i hope to see you later all right so we can either say see you later by doing a hug or a high five, all right? And as always, I wish I could see each and every one of you and give you a big old hug or a big old cool high five, but I can't do that right now, but I'm coming at you through your screen, okay? So if you'd like to say see you later, giving me a hug today, reach out those um, big old arms and give yourself a big old squeeze from the step tape. And if you wanna say see you later, giving me a cool five high five, well then here you go, friends, high five, okay? Now, as always, as we end, Ms. Jeff Coates is going to remind you to stay sweet, stay safe, and stay sharp. Have a great day. Bye-bye.